Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my kitchen. We are going to do some kind of deep cleaning. We are going to clean out the sink. We're gonna wipe down our cabinets. We are going to clean out the microwave. And I'm gonna share with you any tips and tricks and hacks that I might have for keeping my kitchen clean and running smoothly as a family of six. This thing gets dirty, but I have received compliments all the time from my friends saying, how is your house so clean? I just make sure to clean up after myself pretty much after every meal. I wipe down my stove after every use. That way it never really gets super dirty and it doesn't look gross and I don't need to do like a really heavy deep cleaning because it's always clean. I will show you my little tip for cleaning out your microwave. I also have a hack for my dish rags that I replace every day and I'd like to show that to you. So if your kitchen is in need of some cleaning, why don't you join me today? I love these videos because not only are they motivating for me to keep my house cleaner and more organized, but I love doing it with you. And I hope that these are motivating for you as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more videos coming up. Get out your cleaning spray and your rags and let's do this together. So three out of my four kids have gone off to school so I'm going to take the time and clean up all of our breakfast things, get the table cleaned because you know that there is milk from their cereals still left on the table and after that I'm going to unload the dishwasher. We run a load of dishes every single night which makes it perfect in the morning. They are clean and ready to go. And my dog always likes to help me. I created a designated kids drawer so they can easily grab their plates and bowls and cups whenever they need to. Next, we're gonna take care of the dishes in the sink. I usually put whatever I possibly can into the dishwasher. It just makes it easier, but I will hand wash items that I don't like to put in the dishwasher. This is the aftermath of getting kids out the door. If you happen to watch my 10 kitchen must-haves video, I will link it in the description below. But we make popcorn all the time and yes, it is my dog's favorite food. But my boys take popcorn in their lunch every single day and we were out this morning so I had to quickly make that and then I am going to clean up the rest of our stuff so we can get to cleaning. It was time to get out a new hand soap. I love the Bath & Body Works hand soaps. My sister and I talk about them often, but it was time to change it out, so I did that really fast. I wanna share with you my first tip of the day. Every morning I get out a new dishcloth and dish towel. I have a basket under my sink so I can easily toss these in there and then at the end of the day, or sometimes it's every two days, I will take those rags and then take them up to my laundry room. I'm gonna take the time to get out all of my cleaning supplies right together. 
I actually have my dish cloths and dish rags and all this stuff right here, extra towels in a drawer really close to my dishwasher. That way everything is easy to grab when I need it. I use Thieves Household Cleaner from Young Living Essential Oils. We just love this. It's safer, so it just makes me feel better with little kids in the house. But I fill up my bottle with water and I use a cap full of this Thieves Cleaner. I pretty much have it measured by now. But this bottle will last me a long time and I feel really good about using it. I'm also going to make sure that my dish sponge is filled up with soap. I like using Mrs. Meyers. There's just so many scents you can choose from. I would also change the sponge itself if it needed to. I just changed it like a day ago, but I usually change out the sponge once a week. I use Barkeeper's Friend on my kitchen sink, so I will just squirt it all over and use one of those scrub daddy sponges. I love those. They get the job done really well. I will also do this about once a week, more if it needs it. But I will just scrub this up really good and then I will turn on the sprayer on my water and get it all clean. I got a huge package of these rags off of Amazon probably about 10 years ago now, but I will link to what I can in the description below. I love these. I actually went through about four of them, four or five of them in this whole cleaning process, but I will just get it a little bit damp and then I will kind of alternate between spraying my Thieves Cleaner on the rag or just on the surface itself. Again, like right now, I'm kind of wiping down the walls and I wouldn't spray the cleaner on the walls, but there's already some on the rag. I just love having these rags all over my house. I have some on the main level and some upstairs. They just come in handy. We are going to take our cleaning one section at a time today. I have learned that if I take on too much at once, it will become overwhelming and I will not finish the job or I will not want to do it again. So we're just going to take this one section of countertop and cabinets, wipe everything down really well, move things like toasters and air fryers and lights, clean under them really good. I even got up on a chair and just wiped it down. Obviously that tarp part won't get super dirty, but it is nice to get the dust off and just have a fresh start. Make sure that you get your handles really well. Honestly, I clean the handles that we use the most pretty often, daily or every other day. Like the trash handle and the handle that's on the silverware drawer. Those handles are used a lot and have the potential to get the most dirty. 
so I like to stay on top of them and get them clean often. You can see I'm even cleaning the side of the cabinet if you wanted to go ahead and clean your baseboards underneath your cabinets this would be a great time honestly I was a little pressed for time and I knew that this was gonna be a big job anyways so I didn't want to overwhelm myself I also did not clean the inside of my oven today because I also knew that was gonna be a big job and I was going to be pretty worn out after what I'm already doing. So we will tackle those things a different day. We are moving right along if you haven't noticed I have been going section to section and just making sure that all the uppers and lowers get done I also took the time to clean my vent hood it wasn't very dirty because we haven't lived here very long but if your vent hood is in need of a cleaning make sure you get that today too A confession to make I used to prefer an electric stove and I preferred it because it was so easy to keep clean I still don't like the grates on the gas stove but I do love how evenly and nicely the gas stove cooks here you can see I'm using a toothpick to get out any dirt spots that were a little bit difficult I clean my stovetop pretty much after every use. I just give it a good wipe down. If not after every use, then definitely after dinner time every single day. This way it just doesn't get really dirty ever and doesn't need a really good deep cleaning because I have kept up with the cleaning every single day. My favorite part is putting back my decor and all the things that I use often and it just has that wonderful nice clean feeling when you're all done. Next we are going to head over to the refrigerator 
If there are any removable parts, make sure you take those off. This was pretty dirty. I have tried to clean it so many times, but today I really gave it a good soak in warm water and vinegar. And I actually let it sit there for about an hour and a half and it did get pretty clean. So try this trick if you have some stubborn spots that won't come off very well. All right, let's move on to a tip for your microwave. Take about a cup of water. I love these Pyrex glass measuring cups and put it in your microwave for about three minutes and give that a start. And while you are waiting for that to go, you can wipe down the outside of your microwave. What the water is going to do is it's going to create steam inside the microwave. So all the food that's stuck in there will easily come off. Make sure you take out all the inside pieces and go give those a good washing. I do love our microwave, but I will say it is really hard to reach in the way back to clean it. Usually I have my husband help me or I could stand on a chair. This time I was able to somehow make my arms go long enough, but it is pretty difficult to get back there. Now that that removable tray is finally clean, we are going to clean underneath it. You'd be surprised at how dirty it gets under there. I'm also going to take the time to clean the outside of my fridge. I'm pretty sure on a different day we can clean the inside of our fridges together, but let's focus on the outside for today. Just get it really good, especially the handles. Guess what? We did it! We cleaned our kitchens! Obviously there are so many more spaces to clean in here, but let's just take it one space at a time so it doesn't feel overwhelming. And now you can enjoy your wonderful clean kitchen for the rest of the day, and I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Mm -hmm.